Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I study Japanese. But first, coffee. I have to have coffee. I need that caffeine. <laughs> Today I'm going to share with you the textbooks I'm using, the types of classes I'm taking, how I study kanji, and how I study grammar, as well as the tools and things that I use. Yeah, I look perky, but don't let the smile fool you. It's important to have your workspace set up nice and neat, have a good breakfast to get you going, and have all of your materials and textbooks and notebooks at your side. First, I want to tell you about Wani Kani. This is a program that I use to study kanji. It uses a time-based release system. I keep a notebook that I write down all the new kanji that I learn. And when I write the kanji, I write the meaning as well as the readings. So the onyomi and kunyomi. Um, I've been using Wani Kani for about a year and a half, two years now, and I know almost 600 kanji. So I've made pretty good progress on that. Okay, next, um, as you can see, I really like using really cute materials, notebooks. Uh, it helps keep me motivated, right? Um, so in this notebook, I'm writing grammar notes and vocabulary from Mina no Nihongo. Um, I also write the corrections from my homework assignments. So this is a typical homework assignment that is a review from Mina no Nihongo. My Japanese teacher has checked it and made corrections. And so now I'm going to copy those corrections into my notebook. If any of you have any questions about studying for the JLPT in 5 or N4 level, please hit me up and let me know. As for the N3, well, I'm right there with you. I did pretty good on this assignment. Okay, next is a different textbook. This is the class that I go to on Saturdays. This textbook mainly focuses on grammar and kanji. Um, so right now, I'm doing homework assignments each week, and then we review them in class. Usually there's some kind of grammar practice, as well as kanji practice. So here's a typical kanji for one lesson. So I go through and write down the meanings to any kanji that are new to me. Um, and then I also have a little bit of kanji practice as well. So I try to complete the kanji and then go back to the lesson. If I forget a kanji, then I can use my dictionary. I use a Denshi Jisho app on my phone. It's very, very helpful. Uh, you can download it from the App Store on iTunes. I'm not sure about Android. Sorry, guys. This is a sample reading passage that uses the kanji that I learned for that lesson. The more you can reinforce the kanji that you're learning, the better. So next up, I want to show you guys kind of how Mina no Nihongo works. So this is Mina no Nihongo 2, so I'm on the second level. This is the textbook. This textbook I feel like is hard to use if you're doing independent study, but it works really well if you have a guided class. Um, I'm taking a private lesson uh, using this particular book. Here's the homework sheets that I get. And inside each uh, lesson, there's some review questions and review activities to help you practice the grammar that you learned in that lesson. This is the grammar guide. So for each lesson in the textbook, the grammar guide gives you all the vocabulary you need to know, as well as the grammar points and some additional information. There's also translations of the listening activities. Um, for example, this lesson, translations for the uh, example sentences as well as the listening conversation and then the grammar points for that lesson usually there's anywhere from three to six grammar points depending on the chapter right now I'm working on transitive and intransitive verbs and I'm really terrible at it <laughs> um, my Japanese instructor gave me this cheat sheet 
I've been trying really hard to memorize them, but it's really a struggle, as you can tell. I didn't do my best on this assignment. Next up, I want to share with you my notebook. So, my notebook is divided into different sections. I like to make it very bright and colorful and very well organized. So if I'm looking for information, uh, it's easy for me to find. I also have a photographic memory. So making things colorful and visually interesting helps me to retain information. I have different sections for different topics. Uh, this section, oh uh, yeah, there's my cute Sailor Moon washi tape. This section is about automatopoeia. Japanese uses lots of automatopoeia. There's so many to remember. I love these cute little stickers that I can write notes on. And again, it's very decorated. Uh, this is my commonly mistaken kanji section. So many kanji look similar to each other, so I needed a place to keep notes about it. The next section is my grammar notes. Most of this grammar is from when I was studying for N4, um, but it is kind of building up. I'm adding more and more in three grammar now. I know it might look like a lot of color, but I promise there is a method to my madness. So the blue highlight is the original Japanese grammar point. The purple, anything highlighted in purple is a translation. Green is sentence structure. Pink is usually an example. And then again, the purple is the translation. So for each grammar point, I try to make two or three different examples to help me remember. The next section is vocabulary. So as I encounter different words, either in my textbooks or in my lessons or in day-to-day -day life, I just keep a running list of all the new words that I'm trying to remember. And I review these words usually once a week. These flashcards are great. Um, this particular set I made when I was studying for the N4, I use these to learn grammar points. So I'll write the English translation and then the Japanese. These are super cute and super cheap. You can get two sets of these at the 100 yen store. Let's see. Oh yeah, so I downloaded these transitive and intransitive flashcards. Made myself a little set of flashcards. I'm trying real hard, y'all. Also in my incredibly cute Sailor Moon pen case, I have some correction tape, which I use more often than I'd like to admit. Lots and lots of cute pens, highlighters, my awesome Sailor Moon stickers that I got at Three Coins. Yay! Oh yeah, and I have a ruler in here somewhere. It helps me make lines straight when I'm making different sections in my notebook. I also have this really convenient pair of scissors. They look like a pen, but ta-da! They're actually scissors. They help to cut washi tape and things like that. These are my main three writing utensils. So I have this big pencil, and then this is my skinny pencil. It's .3. I use that to write kanji in my kanji notebook. And I also have a .38 pen. Yeah, here's my pen. I have my notebook clearly labeled for each section, so it's easy for me to find what I'm looking for. I have this section that's just food and cooking vocab because it's kind of important to me, right? And I'd like to do some food and cooking videos in the future. In the uh, beginning section, these are kind of older pages, but this is helping me learn different verb conjugations, different vocabulary for specific topics. It just helps me to keep everything organized. 